Well, the Van Banner Parking Master 2.0 is sold out, folks, and I take full responsibility. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alton and I'm so glad you could join me. If you get a chance, why don't you like and subscribe and be sure to stick around because at the end I have a big announcement. I am going to give away a green Van Banner Parking Master 2.0. That's right, I'm giving one of these away. So you're going to want to stick around and find out all the details on that giveaway. It's going to be awesome. Now, why do I say that I take credit for the success of the Parking Master 2.0? The blue version and the white version at time of recording have already sold out. I think that is absolutely amazing and a reflection of how well this watch has been received by other reviewers. And this has been reviewed quite a bit and I think that's fantastic. Now I've been with Van Banner from the very beginning. I have looked at almost every one of their watches I think and um, it's been really fun to see them grow as a company and finally achieve success with the Parking Master 2.0 that I hold in my hands and have on my wrist. The reason I say I take credit for the success of the PM 2.0 is, well, yeah, I'm just kidding. It's all LV. But I did suggest that he change the circle marker on the bezel at 12 o'clock to more of this triangle shape. I got it from another watch that I saw and I said, I think this would be perfect for your revision. And lo and behold, it showed up. I also said, how about since this is a countdown bezel, you have a gradation in the color as it as it counts down from 10 to zero. Well, he looked into it and it just wasn't a feasible option, but he was really, really creative and clever and he decided that he would change it and have an orange section for the first five minutes or yellow, depending on how you see it, and then a red for the last five minutes. And, and I really think that those two changes tie all of this together. So having taken credit for the success of this watch, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to go over the pros and the cons and uh, the stats and do a little summary for you and then we'll get into the giveaway. So why don't we begin with the specifications? Well, the specifications on the Parking Master 2.0 are pretty great. Check this out. The Parking Master begins with a 316L stainless steel case. Of course, that's what you'd come to expect these days. It has a 40 millimeter case diameter, a 41 millimeter bezel diameter, a 48 millimeter lug to lug, and 20 millimeter lug width. It's 14 millimeters thick. But the last two millimeters of that is the domed crystal. So it really wears more like a 12 millimeter watch. So all in all, these are fantastic dimensions for a watch like this, extremely wearable for most people. The bezel is ceramic and it's a countdown style bezel. As you'll notice, it starts at 10 with some yellow and then red at the five minute mark and finally as you get down to zero you know that you have missed your parking meter allotment the markers are filled with bgw9 swiss super luminova and it's two different colors of of loom actually four if you really think of it it's got the green it's got the blue it's got the orange and the red and they all actually shine pretty brightly except for the red the red seems to dim pretty quickly but it is really really cool to see this light up at night and of course it has a 120 click unidirectional bezel and i'm just going to do this for you oh doesn't that sound great it is a fantastic bezel with very little back play lines up perfectly Definitely not in Seiko territory in any way because all three of my versions line up perfectly. The crystal is a two millimeter thick single dome sapphire with double sided premium anti-reflective coating. So what that means is that with a single dome sapphire crystal, you get a lot of distortion on the crystal. And for some that might be a negative, for some that might be a plus. The plus is it really provides an interesting dynamic, gives it a bit of a vintage vibe. The downside is it's not always gonna be as legible as you'd like at certain 
angles. That AR coating on both sides of the crystal, that means that it is always going to be visible. However, you do want to be careful because if there's air coating on the top of the crystal, that air coating can be scratched. So I would recommend using a polished cloth when cleaning the crystal. The Van Banner Parking Master has a screw down crown and the crown itself is actually loomed. It's, it's pretty cool. It's not quite at the three o'clock. It's not quite at the four o'clock. It's somewhere in the middle. It's actually quite unique in that regard and it is loomed and it is red loom, which is really super cool. That ties in really nicely with the red seconds hand. It ties in really nicely with the red on the countdown bezel. Now turning it over, we look at the case back and we see that there is actually a transparent case back. And that case back is also a sapphire. So it's a sapphire sandwich. And there is a sticker on there or printing. I'm not exactly sure how that's done. It feels super smooth, so it must be printing. And that printing has all of the information that you could possibly want. I think this is going to be contentious with some people. Some people either like to see the movement or they like to have a nice sealed screw down case back with no ability to see the movement. And here you kind of get a little bit of both in the fact that while it is a display case back, you can't really see the movement. But then again, it's a Miyota 9000 movement. So do you really need to see it? So let's talk about that movement for a second, because that movement is a 9039 Miyota movement. And I love this movement in budget watches. It is a high beat movement. It is hacking. It is hand winding. It is fairly accurate. And I would take this over the NH35 any day of the week. I think this is a great choice for the parking master. And it's a great choice for a watch at this price point. Something else I want to point out is that LV is pretty clear, and you won't see this quite often, I don't know if it's been mentioned, but the movement has a steel movement holder. That means inside of this watch, there's a, a space around the movement, and you can't just let it wobble around in there. Oftentimes, you're going to have a plastic holder. Well, he was very sure that when he talked to the factory, he said, I want a steel movement holder in there. I want the weight, I want the feel, and I want to know that it's not going to degrade over time. That's the kind of attention to detail that you don't always get these days, and I'm really happy that LV made that choice. Another way that we can see attention to detail is that this is a no-date watch, and when you pull out the crown, you find there's no date. There isn't a ghost position. LV has made sure that this watch is really well thought out. Now you can get this watch in three different colors at the present time. There's white, there's blue, and there's green. And I happen to have all three of them to show to you today, which I think is great. Right now, two of the colors are sold out, but we're going to be seeing, I think, a restock sometime early in 2022. I know he's got them on order. It just depends on when those can make it to him. So good news for those of you who want a white or a blue version. And honestly, they're my favorite. I'm not really a green guy, but I have to say the green is gorgeous. And so if there's any available and you like a green dial watch at the time of this making it to YouTube, I would suggest snatching it up sooner rather than later so you don't miss out. Now this watch does come with a stainless steel bracelet and it's a, a pretty great bracelet. It's not perfect. We'll get to that in a bit, but I quite like it. It, it has an industrial design. It, it sort of looks like an H-link bracelet, but actually it's a three-link bracelet. It has a male end link, but that male end link curves downwards. And that means that when it sits on your wrist, it sits really well on your wrist. It sort of follows the natural contours of your wrist and it is extremely comfortable. The bracelet also has the ability to be removed quite quickly with the push of two buttons underneath with the quick release ability there. That's pretty awesome. It's becoming more and more standard these days. And quite frankly, I'm really happy for it. It comes with 200 meters of water resistance. It looks like a dive watch. It's not really meant for diving, but you could if you wanted to take this diving. And it also 
comes with one year of warranty. And so should anything go wrong in the first year, he's got you covered. And all of this can be had for 310 US dollars, which I think is a great value, especially if you use my promo code, you get an extra 10% off. So you're coming in well under $300. That's a Spinnaker watch range, but I think you're going to get a lot more in this than you would in a lot of Spinnakers. So use that discount code. I don't get any kickback for it whatsoever. I'm not looking to make any profit off of this. I'm not affiliated with Fan Banner, but I want to help save you money. So check out that code. And all of the reviews that I've seen so far have been given a code. So use whichever one of those you want. Make sure that you're saving that extra 10%. So what are the pros to this watch? Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind is definitely the specifications. This watch is loaded. Let's talk about the size. The size is fantastic. 40 millimeters, under 50 millimeters, lug to lug, a bracelet that tapers down. That spec is fantastic. Let's talk about the materials used. Sapphire, AR coating, front and back, Miyota 9000 movement. I mean, what else are you looking for in a watch? I think right at this point for 300 bucks and actually quite a bit less, there's a lot of competition and you're going to find that this is just as well specced as any watch out there for the price. I think it's going to come down to, for you, do you like the style of this watch? Another pro for me is the functionality of this watch. I love the idea of a countdown bezel. I love the idea that I can get out of my car, put my money in, crank this thing around and align it to the minute. Off I go. I know exactly how much time I have left unless perhaps I'm parking more than an hour. But I just love how practical this is because let's be honest, very few of us take our diving watches diving. And I love that everything on this watch is, is aligned. I love that everything feels tight, feels good. When I rotate the bezel, it just has a great feel to it. Everything is applied nice and straight. It just presents itself in a way that says this was well made. And thirdly, I like the originality. This is a fun watch. This is something that you don't see every day. Yes, there are countdown bezels out there. That's for sure. You don't often see the orange and the red on the bezel insert and uh, calling it the parking master. I got a kick out of that the first time around. I remember when LV said, hey, do you want to review this parking master watch? And I think that was a year and a half ago. And I said, really? It's really called the parking master and he said absolutely and and i just love the whimsy about it but it's actually still a real watch well what are the cons well the first and probably the biggest criticism i have is there are a few sharp edges to this watch i think that lv should go back to the factory and say you need to maybe file this down uh, round this off just a little bit. And I know everything on this watch is meant to be angular. It's meant to be crisp and clean. But if you run your finger along the edge of the lug and then along the bracelet, it is a little sharp. I don't think you're going to get cut up or anything like that. I know one reviewer was talking about how the crown was a little sharp. There's actually instructions that come with it that say, uh, don't, don't wind it like a normal watch. Put your, put your thumb on it and wind it from the the outside like this. I don't need to do that. Watch, I I could grab this all day long. It's not going to cut me. I'm not worried about that. But I think there would just be a next level sense of refinement if they just spent a little bit more time smoothing up some of those rough edges. Uh, the, the bracelet is fantastic in many ways, but again, it could use just a little bit of refinement. When I look at the edge of the not the end link, but the very first link, which you can see quite a bit right in here. You can see that it, it just, it needs someone to buff it. it. It needed a little bit of a polish. I don't know if it gets scratched rubbing up against the ends of the lugs because it, it is a 20 millimeter lug that then tapers, well, not tapers, but goes out then to I think 22. Um, it just looks a little bit rough, a little scuffed up, and I would like to see that polished. But here's the thing. 
I can easily polish this myself in about five minutes. So that doesn't worry me a whole heck of a lot. It's got a lot of micro adjusts on the bracelet, which is fantastic for sizing, but it is a double screw system. And LV said to me, good luck getting it sized. I hope it goes well for you. And honestly, it wasn't so bad. You take one screwdriver and insert on one side, the other screwdriver, you turn, and make sure you don't lose those screws when you're sizing it, and all is good. I, I had this sized in 10 minutes. I only sized one of the three bracelets. I sized it to my 20 centimeter wrist, my eight inch wrist, um, but it's not a big deal. So I'll tell you what, if you win this watch, I'll even size it for you if you want. Uh, that's not a problem for me, although some of us, it may be a little bit of a problem. Make sure you have two small screwdrivers in your closet, ready to go when you get this watch in hand. And my third con is that it is unique. And of course, that means that it's it's not going to appeal to everybody. Quite frankly, I tend to like unique watches. I tend to go for the pieces that I don't have a Submariner homage or the Submariner because I can't afford one. I tend to go for things that are just a little different. And so I really dig this different style. But if you're the kind of person that's got to have the basic Hamilton khaki, the basic Submariner, if that's your style, this may not be for you. But I think just looking at images online, you're going to know instantly whether it is or not. So what are my final thoughts on this watch? I really like it. I think it's a winner. I really do. I think that the Parking Master 2.0 is a unique and practical tool watch with great specs for those who never want to get a parking ticket ever again. I, I recommend this watch and I think you're going to enjoy it. Those who have purchased them, I think you really are going to enjoy it. It's going to sit well on your wrist and ultimately it's those dials, I think, that are going to pull you in. It's the, the beautiful sunburst blue. It's the beautiful sunburst green or the sort of pebbled look to the white dial version. It's the use of color. It's that really cool and defining countdown bezel that is going to allure you and there's one more trick up its sleeve and that is the loom the loom on this thing is incredible lv has always put a lot of loom on his watches and this is no exception i woke up at 6 a.m this morning a little bit of light was trickling through the window those are not great conditions for a loom that's been sitting for seven hours and it was as bright as day i had no problems reading it at all and not only is the loom bright and clear and usable it's also a lot of fun with the different colors that shine through so there is a lot to like about this awesome little watch i think the only question for you is which color do you want to buy and is it in stock well it's time to talk about the giveaway the part that you have been waiting for in full disclosure i am keeping two of these parking masters but i've decided to give the green one away and honestly it's kind of hard to do especially at christmas it is the perfect watch for christmas uh, I just think that you're going to love it. I put it on this nice rubber strap because I haven't sized up all of the bracelets, but yeah, it's going to be uh, giveaway time. So what do you need to do to win this watch? All I'm asking for you to do is comment on this video how you would use the countdown bezel. Maybe it's for parking as intended. Maybe it's to time how long your wife is in the grocery store. How would you use it? Put it in the comments down below. And on January 1st, I'm going to set the random generator on that video, filter a duplicate comments, and pick at random one winner of this cool, awesome 310 US dollar watch. So make sure you get in those comments. Make sure you tell your friends about it. And uh, January 1st, we will be announcing a winner. I'd like to thank LV for sending this uh, Van Banner Parking Master 2.0 on to me. It's been such a, a fun time with all of his watches. Do check out some past videos if you're interested. Check out the Parking Master version 1 to see how far this thing has come. It's been just a treat to uh, get to know him and to work with him. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little bit out of it. If you did, hey, why not like and subscribe? But only if you feel like it. I can't tell you what to do. 
Bis einmal.